Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here at Penny's house. Just doing a very simple video today. We're just gonna check up on all the plants, do a quick update on Penny's bug garden too. And Karen's also here. <laughs> and we're just sorting through the plants and we're checking um, all the different sundews that we have because our subscriber, Hef, as you guys know him, I've mentioned him basically every week now. He wants to buy all of the sundews so i'm going through all of the sundews that i have available for sale picking out all of the ones that are happy and healthy for him and making sure that they are good enough in my opinion to be able to sell off to someone so let me just show you guys how that's looking so as you guys may remember the left hand side was all spatulitis and this is them here they are not looking that good as you guys can tell i'm not very happy with them so I'm not going to be selling these off to him, but yeah, this is how they look. They're kind of looking dryish. They all really need a repot. The soil's old and the water that I use is tap water. Um, and the tap water obviously has minerals in it, which is not the best thing to do, but I cannot collect rainwater here. So that's why they're looking not the best. And they have this weird type of mold stuff growing on them. So that's why it's very important that you guys use very clean water for your plants. But otherwise, these are all our Drosra Capensis albers, and they're very, very happy. Doesn't They don't care about the water problem. And these are all the normal Drosra Capensis. As you guys can see, they're also very happy. They don't really care. So these guys all here, I'm putting them aside for Hef. And uh, all of these Drosra Bonatas over here, all of these guys here, put them all aside for him. And we also just organized all the Venus fly traps and we put them all off to the side, just like that. Just so that they're all together in one spot, so it makes it a bit easier for us to manage and, you know, figure out where they are. But look how good that one is looking, guys. Wow, that's a very happy one. Some of them are looking really, really good right now. But yeah, guys, other than that, I have this wide leafed Drosra capensis that I'm waiting for it to flower so I can get some seeds. Hopefully we get like one or two offspring that also have the wild leaf, you know. Um, but yeah, we'll see what it, what happens. And then we have our, our Alicia's here and I don't know if this is an Alicia or a Venusta or something. I need to check them out again properly. That's definitely one Venusta that we have over there. But we'll have to go through them all again ensure that I have the correct naming and numbering and all that stuff on them before I unpot them and get those guys ready for sale. But yeah, guys, that is the table as it is today. And hopefully next week, all of those and those guys there will be gone to Hef. So once again, thank you, Hef, for all of your help. This, you've already been, you've already been a, a lifesaver for me, helping me um, get these plants to a new place. Other than that, our little Drosra Hilaris is coming back. Um, it's the only one that has survived, guys, but it is definitely coming back. So hopefully it survives. If it does, we will be taking it with us to England. And um, yeah, here's some Drosra. I think these are Drosra Anglicas coming out of their dormancies. And lots of small little ones here, guys. I don't even know what they are anymore because I need to check their labels, but the labels are all messed up. It's not a problem. But let us go do a quick update on Penny's bog garden. The plants are looking excellent, guys. And then that would or should be it for this video. Very simple video, just a quick update on you guys. I have a lot on today, so I won't, I'm not able to do a long video. But as long as you guys see the plants and you get an update on them, I think that's the best we can do. Okay, let me go to the bug garden. Okay guys, so here's the bug garden. Once again, I apologize for the pump. I can't switch it off, it's quite noisy. But yeah, here's the bug garden. So they used to be up here, but Penny finds it easier if they're down here on the floor. She can reach them better and they're more protected from the rain. But they still get the same amount of sunlight because they're just on the edge of the, of the roof here. So it's all good for them. But yeah guys, let me show you how they are looking. If you guys remember, we had these Saracenias flowering back here and these Saracenias 
shooting out their flowers. Well, now these guys are done flowering and these ones are now busy flowering. So if any insects come and grab the pollen from these ones back here and come into this red one and pollinate it, we'll get some pretty cool offspring. But aside from that, they are also forming their first pitches for the season. So yeah, guys, I'm very excited to see what plant these are. I've never seen these ones um, ever. But it does look like it's a leucophila, or it might be a minor. It has those white little specks in it. We will find out soon enough. And these plants are catching some insects. I try and get it to focus for you guys, but they're starting to catch some bugs. In time, they'll get so heavy and fall over, as you guys know. But yeah, other than that, the sundew looking good. The capensis is looking happy. As you guys can see, it's catching a whole lot of like mosquitoes and small little bugs everywhere. And this one's sending off a crazy flower spark here. It's like three or four different flowers in one. All the Utricularia flowers are looking good. Venus flytraps are healthy, guys. All the little Bermani eyes looking great. And this year is also busy flowering, which is why they're not looking too good. And they're also still recovering from the repot. But they will take quite a while to uh, recover. And same on this side, guys. Our little Lucophila process that we have over here, also looking nice. Very nice looking pictures. You guys might be able to see the nectar on the rim there. Yeah, guys. Plants looking really, really good. Let's just go somewhere a little bit quieter. So yeah, guys, that's just the quick update on the plants and the table. Um, it's all happening now. The preparation for our move to Europe is, you know, it's getting there. It's starting to set in. Um, I'm not used to it. I have moved continents before, as you guys may remember. I moved from South Africa here to Australia, now from Australia to England. But yeah, it's uh, all happening. Getting rid of all the plants, all of our stuff. So, yeah, guys. I'm going to miss the plants. There's not much to record about, uh, record about these days because, as you guys can imagine, um, less and less plants not living at the same house with the plants etc but that's all good we will slowly get rid of the collection more and more and then hopefully someone is interested in buying this table off of me because i don't want to you know throw this table away i don't want to put it in the dump so yeah guys every day we get a little bit less plants and we get rid of a little bit more things in our preparation but yeah it's going to be what is it now it's, it's basically four months until we we leave 20th of February is when we go and it's it's um what is it now October the 18th or 17th or 16th I don't know so yeah it's about four months until we leave so yeah this is coming to the last little bit of getting rid of everything finishing off my studies also here in Australia um yeah just let you guys know but that's if you guys start wondering why the videos become a little bit less quality packed is because there's less stuff to do and you don't want to do too much with them because you know you're trying to sell them off uh, you don't want to make more plants more work for yourself but yeah guys i hope you found this very short and basic update video interesting and i will see you in next week's video i'm hoping to unpot all of those tubers next week and we can go through all of our seeds next week so that will be a little bit more of an interesting and fun video but until then guys this is a table as it is, and hopefully next week, it's much emptier. So I'll see you guys then.